The dogs were good again this week. Here are my top 10. At number 10, we have Beauregard. He is just a little puppy, so he is still figuring out proper dining etiquette. At number nine, we have Cash. He got a cool new life jacket for the pool, but unfortunately, it paralyzed him. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Cash. Let's go swimming. Let's go, boo. Come on. Come on, Cash. What are you doing? Come on, dude. Let's go swimming. At number eight, we have Norma. Her family got a new rug and she thinks the circle design on it is her new bed. At number seven, we have Chase. He got on top of the roof somehow. His human is still unsure how he managed it. The fire department had to come help get him off. Chase made a public statement thanking the firefighters but did not reveal any further details about the situation. At number six, we have Loki and Hera. Hera just wanted to relax on her beanbag. I would definitely be as confused as Loki. And number five, we have a puppy who refuses to stop falling into a hole. At number four, we have Camp and Owen. Owen is Camp's new neighbor, and Camp was so excited he began removing the vines along the fence so that they could meet. The humans involved saw this and promptly arranged a play date. At number three, we have Penny. A couple weeks ago, Penny had been startled on a walk and managed to run away. Her human spent the next five nights camping and cooking sausages, her favorite, near where she disappeared in an attempt to get her to return. And it worked. Her dad has since gotten a tattoo featuring Penny, sausages, and a UFO to represent the days she was missing. At number two, we have Whidbey. He did a very good job during his first ever theater performance. Bring it, go bring it. Bring it. We have a pup date on a previous top five dog, Xavier, the one who lifts the wrong leg when he pees. Well, he was adopted shortly after we featured him. He has a new older sister and they told us he's a very happy dog and we feel lucky to have him in our lives. Before we get to our number one dog of the week, thanks to your recent support of our Tell Your Dog I Said Hi merchandise, we were able to sponsor the medical care of Rachel. She was rescued off the street with her five siblings, all named after Friends characters. She had a sensitive prolapse that needed to be fixed, and thanks to you all, our foundation was able to cover her entire $6,000 surgery. She's all healed up, and this week she found her forever home. We finally have totes back in stock. Tell your dog I said hi on one side, little doggy illustration on the other. Some dogs may be able to fit in it and let you carry them around. That's really up to you and them. I guess. You can find all the colors plus our other merch through the link in our bio. Our number one dog of the week is Bear. His human Darren suffered a massive heart attack in the middle of the night. He wasn't sleeping well and had gotten up to make some coffee and watch some TV. The last thing he remembers is making it to the bottom of the stairs. The next thing he recalls was Bear jumping up and down on his chest and his wife on the phone with the paramedics. He was rushed to the hospital where he underwent triple bypass surgery. Doctors noted that Darren was likely unconscious for close to three hours. He had paw marks on his chest and abdomen from how hard and long Bear was jumping on him. They said that Bear's actions served as successful CPR and kept Darren's blood flowing. When I first saw him when I got home, he, he, he came right to me and jumped in my arms and I just broke down crying. Woof, woof. 